Today I'm going to be making a lamb jar frazzy and these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I've got a rump of lamb and that's 600 grams and I've cut that into cubes and I've left a little bit of the fat on just for a little bit of extra flavour. That's from my local butcher. If you decide you didn't want to use lamb then by all means chicken breast and I would recommend two chicken breasts is enough. And then the spices, I've got some chilli powder. This is a cashmere chilli powder and that's a less hot and it's got a smokiness. If you can't get all of that, what I would recommend is a smoked paprika. Then I've got coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric, garam masala, some sugar and some salt. I've got two peppers. I've got a red pepper and a green pepper. Then I've got two onions. I've got some ginger and some garlic. I've got two chilies that I've sliced down the middle and they'll go in whole. And I've also got a different sort of bell sized chili and I've cut that into four and taken the seeds out. I've also got some tomato puree and I'll be just using some water just to make a bit more of a gravy. I'm heating some oil in the pan and as you can see with the peppers and the onions I've cut them into this size so they're like an even shape and I'm going to put them into the oil and I'm going to just start warming them through and I'm just looking to take a little bit of the crunch off, only a little bit. I'm just separating everything. Right, as you can see, I've just taken the edge off these now and just cooked them and I'm just taking them back off the heat and put them into the bowl. Turn that up now and a bit more oil. And I have left a bit of fat on this lamb, so I've only put a drop of oil in there. And our lamb's going in now. That's our rub. It's been cut into tubes. And I'm just going to get some colour on there. I'll start to get some colour. And I'll be adding the chilli and the garlic. When I just start to get a bit of colour on it. I've got some colour on the meat. And I've just added half the garlic and the minced ginger. In, and I've just cooked that through. And I'm just cooking the second part now. I didn't want to put it in one big heat teaspoon. Because I didn't want it to burn. And all again, I'm just taking all the rawness out of that. And then we'll be ready for our spices. Right, as you can see now, the garlic and the ginger, they've coated the lamb. And there's a really lo lovely aroma coming off it. Now this is ready now for the two chilies. This is the chilli powder. And that's going in. And this is the cashmere chilli powder. And like we said earlier, that's not as hot. But there's a smokiness on that. And we're just going to get these two now. And get them stirred into the lamb. See it there. Coating everything. And now I'm ready to add the other spices. So I've got my salt goes in. That's my coriander powder. And that's the cumin powder. There's our turmeric, and that's a garam masala. Now I'll be holding back the sugar, that will just go in when we add a bit of the tomato puree. And again I'm looking now to give this all a good coating. Right, let's give everything now, the lamb, a really good coating of all the spices. And this is our tomato puree. I'm just going to put that in. I'm just again, we just want to coat that. Just turn that up a touch. And I've also got the sugar, which was left from the spices. And that's, like we always say, we've done this quite a few times on different videos. But all that sugar does is it just takes the acidity out of the tomatoes. And we're just looking out to give that a good coating. Now 
Now I'm going to get the rest of the peppers. That's what we took out one side and they're going back in. And we're going to turn a good coat in. some chilies and these are the chilies this is the one chili that I sliced whole and there's two chilies there these are slightly hotter and I just slit them at the middle and they'll remain whole and go in I'm just going to give it another stir now I'm just going to put a drop more water in. And I'm going to cover that now for 10 minutes. What I said earlier, I said I'd be cooking with the lid on for around about 10 minutes. Well, I've actually had this on now for 15 minutes. And we just take the lid off, and there you can see it. And while I'm looking, I've still got a little bit of bite on the peppers, and all the lamb's cooked through, and all them lovely juices. And this is a dryer curry. You might get it in Indian restaurant where it's swimming in the sauce. But this is a proper jar frazzy. And I've just had a look at it all and it smells absolutely delicious. And the colours on it look great. And that's now ready to dish up. Right, as you can see now I've dished up and I've served it with some steamed rice. And there we have it. I'm just going to finish off with just a couple of sprigs of coriander over the top. Just one more. And there we have it. That's Brad's Lamb Jalfrazi. Enjoy. <laughs>